So long. AM 560, the answer. Okay, so here's the deal. If you know me and you listen to me, you know that there's very little subtle about me. I, I, I believe we are so close to losing this great country, it's not even funny. I, I believe we've just about lost this great state of Illinois, it's not even funny. And I believe there's a real fight going on for the soul of the Republican Party. Because as things now stand, the only thing still hanging in there that can save the country and save this state is the Republican Party. If not the Republican Party, something else is coming. It's not the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party believes in a different America. End of story, okay? None of this has to be personal. They just do. They believe in a big government dependency America that we can't afford. It'll bankrupt us financially and morally. I spend a lot of time on this radio show talking about this war, talking about how serious this is, talking about how important it is that we are so close to losing the country that, that guys like Jefferson, Madison, and Adams gave us. And I'm mad at both parties for doing this to us. And I made really clear to AM 560 the answer, if you're going to give me this microphone, I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I, I, I'm going to war. And I'm going to go to war against the Republican Party and try to shape the Republican Party up to be the party that it used to be, which was the party of freedom and limited government. And I am going to openly use this mic to support candidates and members of Congress, elected officials who want the Republican Party to get back to what it used to be, the party, the Reagan Party of freedom and limited government. And they still hired me. And they gave me this time slot. And I got to tell you something. I am so happy and excited and pleased right now to, to endorse my very first candidate this cycle. And this is special to me. Her name is Manju Goyle. And she's running for the United States Congress in a district I'm pretty familiar with. Illinois' 8th district. She's running to defeat the current congresswoman, Tammy Duckworth. And I want to tell you something. This Manju Goyle, she gets it and she understands it. And what a story she is. First generation U.S. citizen. Indian American. Businesswoman. Mother who decided a few months ago that I can't stand, this is what she told me, I can't stand, she said, Joe, that we have a country that lives beyond its means. That's wrong. I can't stand, she said, Joe, that we have a country that doesn't pay its bills. And Manju is a small businesswoman. And she said, this is personal to me because we have a country and a government that makes it too difficult for small businessmen and women to make a living and grow and thrive. And so she decided to run for Congress. Her name is Manju Goyle. She's a Republican. She's the right kind of Republican. She's a Republican who believes in freedom, limited government, and individual responsibility. She's lived her entire life this way. Oh, and did I tell you Manju is Indian American? And did I tell you Republican Party how important it is for us as a party to take our freedom and limited government message into every community in this country? African American, Hispanic, Asian, Indian American. I was just blown away a few months ago when I met Manju. An Indian American woman who talks the same language so many of us do. Getting us back to a free country. A country with a government that lives within its means. 
I am so proud to endorse Manju, and I'm going to work as hard as I can because this is personal to me. I'm going to work as hard as I can to help Manju Goyal become a United States Congresswoman. Not just because I want her to beat Tammy Duckworth, who truly, really doesn't understand a word I'm saying right now. No, it's not just because that 8th district was the district that I tried to defend my seat in. Uh Uh-uh. When I say it's personal, it's personal because I've got kids. I don't have grandkids yet. It's personal because I'm only endorsing candidates who understand that we are respectfully at war in this country to get America back to what it once was. And I am so happy that we have a candidate like Manju who wants to do just that. I did well last election and and made a lot of outreach and made a lot of contacts and friends in the Indian American community. Illinois' 8th District has a huge Indian American population. And these are great, hardworking people that Republicans need to get with. They are just dying and itching to hear our fiscally conservative message. Manju can and will do that in the 8th District. I'm encouraging all of you who live in Illinois' 8th District it's, you know, it's a big old funny-shaped district. Elgin, Carpentersville, Schaumburg, Palatine, Lombard, Itasca, Hanover Park. Big old district that incorporates some of Cook County, a little bit of Kane, and a big chunk of DuPage County. You have a great candidate right now, a great Republican candidate, who can carry our freedom-limited government banner. And I want you to get with her. I want you to get on her bandwagon. I'm going to use these airwaves and I'm going to use all of my work out there speaking around the district and around the state to talk up Manju. You can find out about her if you go to her website, manjuforcongress.com. That's M-A-N-J-U, manjuforcongress.com. The country's broke, the state's broken. You know what? The Republican Party's broke. And part of what we got to do in the Republican Party is reach out to other communities. We have an amazing opportunity right here in Illinois' 8th District to do just that. Manju is something special, and I cannot wait to work for her and work with her as she takes Illinois' 8th District and turns it into a Republican district. ManjuforCongress.com Like Joe on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Walsh.